welcome story. back to another episode of Tales of Hysteria. So I did there. I waited for his mouth to be open. It's like he was going to start doing the intro, and then I took over. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, this cutscene is just them being like, how do we get in? <laughs> oh, thank, let me thank guess. Thank you for reestablishing this. Where do we go? <laughs> what do we do? I'm guessing we're going to go talk to some guards who are in front of a door. Some game. guards. <laughs> And then we're going to walk back, and are we going to see a cutscene, Chris? I don't know, guys. Cutscene, Chris. There. There's your little, like, fake name. Cutscene, Chris. Instead of Affinity, Chris. Yes. Cutscene, Chris. Chris. Great. 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 <laughs> wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, they're just like, no, fuck it. Come on in. Oh, hey, guys. I'm just walking through here because I'm an employee. Check out the festival. Go out front. What gives? You're letting him through. Well, that's because I'm festival staff. That's right. Authorized personnel only. Everyone else, move along. But it's urgent. Can't you do anything? Afraid not. Now, the trick is, when we go down here, there, these guys are going to be like... Do you need a hand? You look like you're in a bind. I bet you want to get at that pedestal now, don't you? Yes. Alicia could be... They don't need to know that. I mean, if you could help me out, it'd really make my day. Sure thing, but we'll need some cash. Cash? Yep. Remember the guard back there? He's not averse to a little grease on his palm, if you know what I mean. We can get you through. He likes you to go to an auto shop and get him grease. I get it. I think 1,000 gold. I got it, right? Yeah, I did. Hand over 1,000 gold. What? Hand over an item worth 1,000 gold. So, if you notice, w it, even in our fights so far, we haven't produced any gold. We can't even go to shops to sell things to get gold. Let me... So, that basically means, if we want to get in, we have to give them... The... Uh, Grand Pike, <laughs> which is worth... <laughs> yes, that thing. It's a pipe. That's probably worth yes, a thousand dollars. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Now, me and my stubbornness, I refused to do this until I figured out another way, which is... And this is a good hint, right? Like, show the garden uh, item. Oh, maybe there's something we can do. Yeah, right? Uh, which actually, I think that's a pretty smart thing. You should what show else? him your prized glove. No. I, I'm going to show him my system book. <laughs> you see this? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> okay. Thanks. What See is, ya. <laughs> explanations for different aspects of the game systems and, and battles. So we show him this and he's like, ah, fourth wall! <laughs> and it just crumbles. It's like, wow, this game is great. <laughs> so we're going to show him the royal knife because we're fucking royalty, bitch. So long as we have this. This crest. It's Princess Alicia's. Yeah, right. I'm Princess Alicia. Fuck you. This is the real McCoy. I stand for <laughs> Really? <laughs> really, oh, game? Just in case, you'll you know what McCoy sword. sounds like. No. My Connor boy. McCloud, the Clan McCloud. That was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> so, we did a, we did a, a playthrough of a different game, and I kept it. And you guys should check out that different game. No, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep doing that. I'm not. I'm drawing the line. We've done this in fact, too much. Can you do me a favor? Can you just cut that like second gap of him <sighs> saying that out? We just like have to be a really unprofessional, just like go like skip it's, right to the it's, next. It's too late. It's too late. <sighs> Apologize. <laughs> it's too late. So so the the one thing where the guy was like, "That's the real McCoy." That's actually one of the issues that Jen and I have been talking about involving the dialogue of this game is they use a lot of like old formal words that where they're like, "Thou must," blah 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 blah, like "thou though." Uh, you know, thy, the, thine. The, you know, all that bullshit. And, um, Ray, all that and, bullshit. And, but then they mix in a lot of, like, modern terms. <laughs> yeah, like, surreal McCoy. It's like, that's inappropriate for this Alicia. setting. Yeah. They wouldn't talk like that. that uh, it's just, Welcome. they, like, go, like, a quarter of the way with so many different language choices. And, like, it, it all yes. seems weird and like it's clashing. This way out there in the ruins. Saray, this is Lady Maltran. She's been appointed as the committee leader for the festival this year. She is also the one who taught me the way of the spear. 
Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. It is a pleasure. By any chance, did you come here to attempt the? I noticed that in a lot of these JRPGs, there's that one character with the hair Not constantly covering the eye. I want to run into a character that's totally normal until a gust of wind blows by and you see like this horrible, shriveled, like bacteria engrossed eye because it's just it's never seen the sun. <laughs> Live my life or no eye. I'd be cool with no eye. Or Alicia. No eye like it got so taken, or no eye like really just nothing there. Concerned. That kind of reminds me of a concept I had for a game. I actually inspired from, I don't know if you've you've watched uh, the game Grumps play, that, that like shitty eye spy game. Uh, it was one of their Halloween specials. It's hilarious. Yeah, okay. um, but they had a conversation that inspired a game concept so in my mind, cool. and uh, oh, cool. it was... A, have like oh, a traditional right. like I spy ish kind of game, mm -hmm. but occasionally throw in just absolutely horrifying things at unexpected times. Oh. <laughs> and, and like never explain it, just have it and have it build up to that kind of horrifying thing. That's, That's awesome. creepy. Right? I think that'd make a good horror game. Heck yeah. A good game of oh, horror. Yeah. I, I well, welcome anyone else to, to make that game too. Like, oh, I'm not I think dudes. I know. Oh, yeah, man. If no one else can see her, does that mean she's a seraph? You probably can't remove the sword unless you can speak with her, meaning no ordinary person can do it. Incredible! So that means the legends were true. Hey, say something to her. Me? Unless you want me looking like a total weirdo. But still... Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens of Lady Lake. For the past several years, we have abstained from our beloved festival in light of the general state of the world. But this year, thanks to the grace and assistance of Our Lady Alicia, the Sacred Blade Festival can be held once more. We yet live in a time of crisis. Violent weather, geopolitical tensions, pestilence, famine, the list goes on. However, I believe that it is precisely times such as these that make our cultural traditions and celebrations all the more vital to maintain. Oh wondrous Lady of the Lake, show us your power! Merciful Lady of the Lake, hear our plea. Cleanse us of our sins and woes with your flames of purification. Citizens of Lady Lake, this jubilant festival shall be as a prayer to the heavens that we may know peace and prosperity. Some prayer, all right. This prayer of yours gonna give us our jobs back? The council already seized the crops and weaponry trades for the state. They might as well declare war and get it over with. Hey, lady, you trying to kill us? This ain't nothing but the council giving itself a pat on the back. Well, we're not gonna stand for it. Find someone else to lick your boots. Silence. Do not disturb the festival. This, I feel, is slightly out of place. Like, I don't think it's bad, necessarily. Uh -huh. Um, but I think they could have implied a little bit more prior to us entering here that there was tension building. Yeah, it doesn't right. feel like it, right? Then even like running through a town, we see the little dialogue blips. And we can talk to people and like, sometimes they'll say things like, ah, oh, things are shitty, but you don't really get that full impression that there's this building tension happening. Right. Um, until you see this and you're like, whoa, shit's a lot crazier than I thought. Oh, what? Yeah, dude. Interesting. This is basically what dictates the entire rest of the feel of the game, is malevolence can turn you into a monster. Literally. Uh, 
and I think this is where the main twist. So if you've never played a, a <laughs> you dumbass. Oh shit, maybe. Not. Oh god. So for anyone that's never played a Tales game before, there's usually a big twist, right? And I don't think we've talked about this on the show yet. Um, but for Zestiria, I feel like the Hellions are going to be kind of that really big twist. Mm. What's actually causing these people or, you know, things, animals to turn into Hellions? Is it actually malevolence or is it something else? I haven't found this yet in my playthrough, but if they don't have a twist, I'm going to be pissed. All right, I'm going to call something <coughs> right now. Do it, man. And if this happens... Wait, wait. To become my sword is to serve as a vessel for me to dwell in and to assume the shepherd's burden. Blessed with the power of purification and abilities beyond human ken. Cursed to be scorned by others and wrought with despair. To protect this land from the Hellions means a constant stream of agonizing decisions. It is a lonely battle, the likes of which you can scarcely imagine. That's the burden of the Shepherd? And you want Saray to take all that on right here and now? It is not to be done lightly. May I ask you your name? Oh. Of course, I am Lila. Lila. My dream is to investigate ancient ruins all over the world. I believe that the legends of the past hold knowledge about how humans and Seraphim might one day live in harmony together. I must find a way to make that happen. To bring humans and Seraphim together again, as it was in the days of yore. If purifying the Hellions will save both humans and Seraphim, then... And it's the best chance I'll ever have to make that dream a reality. Are you really okay with this? Saray. That's why I shall become the shepherd. I offer myself to you as your vessel and shall bear your burden. I've waited long for this moment. For one who is pure of heart and free of corruption, a shining vessel to whom my words will reach. Ah. Now, Saray, take up the sword! You got it! you? Get back, Alicia. <laughs> hey! You'll be able to handle the Hellions, right? Yeah. Just take care of the rest of the flames. So this oh. is this is where the combat system of this game actually starts getting really interesting yeah, because about to say. Um, there's a very like human and seraphim dynamic. Well, should we ex should we explore this battle in the next episode, or should we get through this battle? I think we should get through this battle. All right, let's so we'll, show we'll let this episode fire. run a little bit long. I'm going to kill these smaller guys first because uh, battle tactics. So is she all? Wait, are you playing both of them right now or no? No, Kuja's playing Lila. 
So she has some fire skills, it looks like. I could probably use a heal. I think... Does she heal as well? Yeah, I think most of the Seraphim have a heal. So we're going to do that the same way. Okay. Imbument. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Are, are you really? Yep. I am the shepherd now. The one kid's like, yeah! Yeah, you fucking are. Oh, he's gonna be a dick. <laughs> Why? Because he has a scowl? You gotta be biased against people with scowls in a JRPG? Yep. We received word that there was a civil disturbance among the commoners. Indeed. However, it has already been quelled. By the appearance of the shepherd. The shepherd, you say? Citizens of Lady Lake, I hereby announce that this year's Sacred Blade Festival has come to a close. You heard him! Clear out at once! Please don't hold up traffic! Keep moving! Milady, I should like to ask the cause of all this at a later time. Lady Maltran, your presence is also requested. The Shepherd of all things. <coughs> Now then, it is time for me to return to my place within you. Oh, yeah, I am the vessel after all. Wait, what? Did she just go inside of him? What the? <laughs> 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 Clear, was like, that was pretty fucked up. <laughs> That's super specific. Well. The rationale is that Lila's done this so many times uh, that she's like, well, this is a standard protocol. All right, three days. That's what happens to one who becomes a vessel. See, the last time they had a vessel it was in Symphonia. <laughs> and that didn't end up so well. That did not end up so nice. I do find it kind of funny, though, that they uh, rationalize why your party members <laughs> disappear inside your body. That is kind of cool. <laughs> All right. This will continue next time on Game Devs Play Games. Woo See you in the archives. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. 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 Stop, 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 stop it. Sip away. Sip away. Sip away. I turn into Link when I'm pooping. <laughs> Hit! Hit! <laughs> See, I turn into Mario. I'm like, woohoo! <laughs>